They look small, but each bullet carries the mind of an engineer and the force of controlled destruction. A bullet isn't just a piece of metal. It's three systems working as one. The projectile, the casing, and the energy source inside. At the front sits the projectile, a dense aerodynamic shape built to fly straight and hit hard. Usually lead, wrapped in a copper jacket. That copper prevents the barrel from wearing down and keeps the bullet stable as it spins. Behind it lies the casing, often made of brass or steel. It's more than a container, it's a seal. When the bullet fires, this thin metal wall expands perfectly against the chamber, trapping pressure inside. That expansion makes sure every ounce of energy goes forward, not backward. Now, the heart of it all, the primer. A small circle of explosive compound at the base. When the firing pin strikes it, chemical chaos begins. The primer flashes. That spark ignites the propellant, a fine modern powder that burns faster than sound. As it burns, it doesn't explode outward. It expands inward. Pressure rises, reaching thousands of PSI in milliseconds. The gas has only one escape, pushing the bullet down the barrel. Rifling grooves carved inside spin it like a top, giving it balance and stability through the air. In that instant, physics and chemistry shake hands. Potential energy becomes motion. A silent machine turns a spark into supersonic flight. Every angle, every material, every microsecond is tuned. Too much powder and the gun shatters. Too little and the bullet fails to leave the barrel. That's why ammunition manufacturing feels more like aerospace than weaponry, precision down to the microns. And when it's all over, the casing cools, contracts, and falls to the ground. Empty, but proof of perfect engineering. So the next time you see a bullet, don't just see danger, see design, see control. See the invisible calculations that make it fly true. Because what makes a bullet work isn't violence, it's precision.